Hi, I'm Dr. Trevor Matthews. I'm going to be showing you how to use the ACSM walking and running equations in order to calculate grade of the treadmill when you already know the speed as well as the oxygen consumption that the uh, participant or the client is shooting for with the exercise bow. So let's use a question to help us sort of frame all of this. So we have Greg here who is a client at your gym. Um, for his light intensity cardiorespiratory workouts, you prescribe walking at 20 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute, so that's 20 ml per kg per minute in relative VO2 terms, and 3.2 miles per hour. But notice you haven't prescribed the grade. Um, so most likely you would have chose 3.2 because it was something that they felt comfortable walking and then you have to calculate grade from that. All right, so for his moderate intensity workouts, and this might even be uh, moderate intensity and high intensity, but for this, let's just say this is a very fit individual, but for the moderate intensity cardiorespiratory workouts, you prescribe running at 35 mLs per kg per minute at 5.3 miles per hour. Again, you don't have grade. So what incline should the treadmill be set at for his light and moderate intensity workouts? So let's go ahead and look at our uh, given variables here. And we're going to uh, be doing quite a bit of work on this one. All right, so our given variables, um, we have light intensity workout day and moderate intensity workout day. All right, so for the light intensity workout day, we are walking for the moderate intensity workout day we're running. Um, for the light day we're uh, going to be shooting for 20 uh, mLs per kg per minute for the oxygen consumption. For the moderate day 35 mLs per kg per minute. For again the light day 3.2 miles per hour and for the moderate day 5.3 miles per hour. Uh, for both these, we need to start off by converting the miles per hour to meters per minute because that's what the ACSM equations uh, are set up to use. So the conversion here is going to be just to take our miles per hour and multiply by 26.82, which is the conversion factor from miles per hour to meters per minute. So for the walking uh, workout, 3.2 miles per hour times 26.82 gives you 85.824 meters per minute. And for the running workout, we have 5.3 miles per hour multiplied by the same 26.82, giving us 142.146 meters per minute for the speed of the treadmill. All right, so now let's go and look at the equations we're gonna be using. Let's start though with the walking equation. Okay, so for the walking equation, we're gonna be doing a number of uh, uh, rearranging steps for this, um, but the uh, starting place for the walking equation is VO2 in relative terms, so milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute, is equal to open parenthesis 0.1 times the speed, close parenthesis, plus another open parenthesis 1.8 times the speed times the grade, close parenthesis, plus 3.5 which is our, um, our 3.5 is our resting component to all of this. Remember, we need to isolate the G, which is the grade. So there's a lot of stuff that has to happen here. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to subtract the 3.5 from both sides of the equal sign. So that cancels out the 3.5 on the right side and gives us a uh, minus 3.5 on the left. So we end up with VO2 minus 3.5 and then everything else on the right side of the equation except for the original plus 3.5. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is get rid of this 0.1 times speed. Um, and it's in parentheses, so it has to stay in parentheses on the other side of the equation. So this, so remember, we're trying to isolate the G, which is the grade. And this whole function here is being added to what eventually is added to the G. So we can subtract this whole function uh, together on this side of the equation and the other side of the equation, which is gonna move it on the other side of the equal sign. And so we end up canceling out on the right side and we have minus in parentheses 0.1 times speed. All right, so now um, we don't need the parentheses on the right side because everything else is gone from the right side. Um, we still have 1.8 times speed times the grade. So we can get rid of the 1.8 times the speed 
all in one swoop, just like we did with this uh, function here. So it's being multiplied against the grade. So let's divide it out from both sides of the equation, which is going to cancel out the 1.8 times speed on the right side of the equation. And we end up with a division sign and then in parentheses again, 1.8 times speed. And so we end up with our final equation here, isolating the grade being VO2 in relative units minus 3.5 minus in parentheses 0.1 times speed, close parentheses, and this whole thing so far that I've said is also in parentheses. And so you have to do all that and then divide by, again, in parentheses 1.8 times speed, and that's gonna give you grade. All right, so this is the walking equation rearranging. If we look at the running equation, it's very, very similar here. All right, so I'm not gonna go over each step of this because it's exactly the same, um, just with a slightly different starting place um, because some of the constant values are different here. Um, so let's, actually let's look at that real quick. So the only real differences we have is in the walking equation, it was 0.1 times speed. In the running equation, it's 0.2 times speed. Um, up here, it's 1.8 times speed times grade. Down here, it's 0.9 times speed times grade and we still have the same 3.5 for the resting components of this. Um, so really the running equation, the walking equation are pretty much the exact same equations, just with slightly different constants in here that represent um, the intensity that you get from an increase in speed or in increase in speed and grade. And so if we do the rearranging, it's the exact same process. And in the end, we end up with VO2 minus, uh, so relative VO2 minus 3.5 minus 0.2 times speed in parentheses, and then this whole thing is in parentheses here, divided by in parentheses again, 0.9 times speed, and that gives us grade. So very, very similar steps to rearranging it. Um, you can see the steps here if you wanna pause the video and look at those step by step, but it's literally the exact same thing I just explained with walking but with slightly different constant uh, numbers in the equation. All right, so let's go ahead and move to solving some of this. All right, so looking at the light intensity day, um, that was the day when we were going to be prescribing walking. Um, the rearranged equation that we just described is right here, so I won't describe it again for you. Um, and so we just need to start plugging in our valuable, uh, our variables here. So for our um, oxygen consumption our, on our walking day, we prescribed 20 milliliters per kilogram per minute. So that's what's gonna go into this spot here. Um, this is a constant, this is a constant. For the speed, um, we prescribed 85.824 meters per minute. Uh, remember, we had to calculate meters per minute from miles per hour to get to this. Um, the 1.8 is a constant. Again, the same speed is being entered here, 85.824 meters per minute. And then at the end, we get the G for grade. All right, so let's start to do some of these calculations. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start from the innermost parentheses. So the innermost parentheses is the 0.1 times 85.824. And when we do that, we end up with 8.5824 as our, um, our outcome from that. And so that gets rid of this inner set of parentheses. So now we need to deal with this bigger set of parentheses. So I'm just gonna go step by step here, um, starting from the left because they're all just subtraction signs here. So 20 minus 3.5 gives us 16.5. And then we're going to take the 16.5 minus the 8.5824, and we end up with 7.9176. Now I'm going to work on the next set of parentheses before doing this division. So 1.8 times 85.824 is going to give us 154.4832. So the next step here is just uh, to do this division finally since we have no parentheses. So 7.9176 divided by 154.4832 gives us 
0.051 for the grade. And notice I'm not getting rid of any of these decimals up until this very end here that I'm about to show you. And the reason for that is because you don't want to do anything that you don't want to do any rounding throughout because it's going to throw some error into your equation. So hold on to all your decimals as many as possible and then round at the very end. All right, so we have the 0.051 for the grade, and this isn't a decimal format, but in the treadmill, it's going to need to be in percentage format because that's what you're actually going to type into the treadmill. So looking at this very last step here, 0.051, multiply this by 100 in order to get it into a decimal format, and we end up with a grade of 5.1%. Uh, most treadmills are probably going to allow you to do a 0.1, some might not, so you might have to just put in 5% for this individual. Um, but the answer here on the walking day would be 5.1% grade um, is what you need to plug in with those other variables that we've already mentioned, so the speed of the treadmill as well as knowing what the oxygen consumption should be while they're doing the walking. All right, so that's how you do it with the walking. The running is very, very similar, but let's go ahead and go through that. Um, here is our running equation rearranged that we showed before. So uh, VO2 in relative terms, minus 3.5, um, minus 0.2 times speed in parentheses, and then this whole thing here is in parentheses, and you divide that by 0.9 times speed, also in parentheses, and that equals the G or grade. All right, so plugging everything in, we um, gave 35 mLs per kg per minute for the uh, oxygen consumption that they were shooting for with this exercise bout. We have the same 3.5 here that represents the resting components. The 0.2 is just another constant here. The speed uh, in meters per minute um, that we calculated is 142.146. Then we have, again, another constant here with the 0.9, another uh, time we're entering speed, so another 142.146, and then we still have the G for grade at the end there. So let's start to do um, some of this uh, actual, actually do some of this math, and we're going to start with the innermost set of parentheses. So we're going to multiply 0.2 times 142.146, and that is going to give us 28.4292. Now we're going to go move our way out in the parentheses. So this whole argument here um, is in one parentheses together, and they're all just negative signs, so we can do it in any real order we want. I'm just going to start from the left and move to the right. So 35 minus 3.5 gives us 31.5. Then we're going to take the 31.5, subtract 28.4292 from that, and it's going to give us 3.0708. All right. Now we need to go and take care of this other set of parentheses. All right. Uh, 0 0.9 times 142.146. That's going to give us 127.9314. And then finally, do this division at the end. 3.0708 divided by 127.9314. That's going to give us our grade of a decimal, so this is in decimal format, a decimal of 0 0.024. And because we need, again, to have this in percentage format in order to uh, plug it into the treadmill display, 0 0.024 times 100 gives us a grade of 2.4%. So a little bit of math here. I, this was a little longer because I showed you both the walking and the running, which is pretty much the same uh, steps, just slightly different uh, equations, so different constants in those equations. Um, but um, a little more complicated than some of the more simplistic equations, but still not too bad. I uh, hope that was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can put those in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.